Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Let's Taste with the Intrepid Wino. My name is James Scarcebrook. Thank you to Constellation Wines for generously donating the samples on this episode uh, of the show. Uh, it is a brand new range of wines from uh, the Hardy's brand. Uh, and the, the, the sub-brand, I guess you could call it, is called Brave New World. Um, I believe that the idea is to um, be more experimental, work with grape varieties uh, that may or may not be unfamiliar to a lot of wine consumers in Australia. Uh, and there are some really innovative blends going on here. The, uh, the retail price, recommended retail price, I couldn't actually find anything in my uh, little press kit or on uh, online at all about the recommended retail price. Hopefully I'll be able to find out what that is and you'll see it below uh, when I explain each wine. But um, not really sure what the order, recommended order is, so I'm just going to start with the Grenache Shiraz Mouvedre 2015 from McLaren Vale. Uh, GSM um, is arguably one of the classic blends of red grapes in the world. Uh, you do tend to find it in the south of uh, the Rhone Valley uh, and certainly in uh, regions like McLaren Vale and Barossa in South Australia. Uh, GSM is a, a very popular blend. Uh, so let's have a look at what the Brave New World uh, GSM 2015 looks like. Very classic, juby, juicy, black currants, black fruits, raspberries, very aromatic, very bold, quite obvious in terms of the fruit. Very, very subtle to um, barely even there, sort of spice characters. Yeah, it smells fruit sweet, really, really ripe, really juicy, plump um, black fruits. Let's taste. Very soft, very fresh, very supple, very simple on the palate. Really uh, not offering a lot more than uh, a lovely, light, soft, mellow red wine here. Um, without sort of knowing what the recommended retail price, I, I can't really recommend it either way. Uh, it's really a very, very um, straightforward wine, not really with much character or personality to it, but definitely, you know, the three varieties blended together, they're, they're working well together and they are uh, combining to create a wine which is very, very pleasant for um, somewhat inexperienced palates. So if you're new to, to red wine, if you're new new to uh, Grenache, Shiraz and or Mouvedre, uh, look, you're not really going to be too disappointed or too confronted by that one to start off with. So let's look at the second wine, which uh, if my memory serves is Shiraz and Sangiovese, also from 2015, also from the McLaren, McLaren Vale. Uh, Shiraz uh, is by far the biggest planted variety in Australia. Uh, mostly around the world it's called Syrah. Sangiovese, uh, if you've seen any episodes of uh, Let's Taste, you may or may not have seen me taste some Sangiovese. Of course, I was very excited to be working with some Sangiovese for myself this year, making my wine, which I'm looking forward to releasing next year. Uh, one of my guests on the Vincast Wine Podcast, Julian Castagna, thinks that Sangiovese and Shiraz as a blend should be the Great Australian blend. Um, so I'm interested to see what this one looks like. McLaren Vale is a uh, reasonably, reasonably warm climate, not, not hot. Um, they do have some uh, influence of coastal uh, breezes, but it is on the warmer side for uh, Sangiovese for me, and the Shiraz tends to be a little bit darker fruited. Uh, which I'll probably, I'm going to guess, I'm going to see in the third wine. So let's have a look at the sun, uh, Shiraz Sangiovese blend. A bit, a bit more brooding, a bit darker, starting to move in some sort of earthier characters than the, the GSM. A bit tighter, a bit mealier. 
you know, almost some sort of meat spices as well. Quite, quite inviting, quite appealing. Certainly slightly more interesting than the GSM was. Let's taste. Again, not really offering much on the palate. It's quite light and fresh. Um, it's very, very clean. Uh, everything's there. It's balanced, but you know, when the wine's so squeaky clean like this, when there isn't really a hair out of place, um, it's it's just sort of a bit devoid of character. It doesn't really excite me in any way. I've, if I had lost my sense of smell, I probably would be quite happy because I probably wouldn't know that there's not much more to this. It certainly doesn't taste offensive in any way, but it's very, very straightforward. Um, you, the Sangiovese is totally missed out on there. Um, it may as well not even be there. I'm not even sure what the percentage of Sangiovese is, but uh, I would say it might be no more than 30 or 35%. So, um, it's a shame, you know, because people who know me know I love Sangiovese, you know, like most Italian grape varieties. So, um, unfortunately, yeah, I would have liked to have seen a Sangiovese on its own in this case. So maybe uh, in future releases they'll, they'll do a straight Sangiovese. But uh, the last one is uh, Shiraz, uh, called well, Shiraz Black. I'm not sure what Shiraz Black means. Um, yeah, look, I think it's just black fruit. So, so yeah, I would say it's, if not 100%, then almost. 100% Shiraz, uh, again also from the 2015 vintage and from the Clarence Vale. Uh, you can see in the glass right away, it is significantly darker than the first two wines. Very, very inky, very deep in, in you know, concentrated. Um, you know, I, I can't really see anything through that wine. So we're looking at some pretty ripe Shiraz here. <coughs> um, Super intense, super forward, um, just oodles of oodles of black fruits here. Uh, really, the fruits just overwhelming anything. I'm not seeing really any floral, any savory notes, any spice, you know, herb, um, meats, anything like that. Earth, nothing. It's just all about that black, black fruit, and uh, you know, aptly named Shiraz Black. Let's taste. Um, really forward on the palate. There's no depth to this wine. Uh, it's lovely and, and soft and mellow again. Um, very, very intense sweet fruits here. It's not heavy. It's not kind of bombastic. Um, you know, it is ripe, but the alcohol is, is um, well managed. There's not really any oak character to speak of. Um, but again, it is very, very simple, fruit-driven uh, red wine. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that the recommended retail for these is somewhere between $10 and $15. If they are, then they're fine. Um, if they're less than $10, then absolutely grab them because they are a bargain. But uh, if they're sort of more than $14 or $15, uh, I, I really can't recommend these range um, unless you're just looking for a very simple quaffing red wine. If you see this at a... Uh, a function like a wedding or uh, you know school reunion or something like that and they have these and they're fine you know if the, if the booze is free or at least included in your uh, in your ticket or whatever they're absolutely fine uh, unfortunately for me the brave new world uh, the idea I think is to push the boundaries they really are doing nothing of the sort with these wines I, I, I really um, I, I'm not going to encourage people to look at these uh, unless they are really heavily discounted. Uh, but uh, look, thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Taste. Uh, thank you, Dollar Constellation, for um, having me, uh, uh, have, uh, <laughs> sending some samples. Sorry, speaking of uh, Shiraz Black, is Millie. Um, thank you very much for sending me some samples. I really do appreciate it. If you uh, would like to uh, submit some samples to me, 
uh, you're more than welcome. Please get in touch with me. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. If you didn't enjoy it, please hit the dislike button. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment below. Make sure you subscribe to the Intrepid Wino YouTube channel. Go and visit me at intrepidwino.com. Uh, make sure to follow me on social media as well. Uh, but uh, look, until next time, guys. Cheers.